Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Chin. Thank you for coming and watching our YouTube channel. Today I want to teach you how to analyze data using pivot tables. Uh, we'll be using a case study, um, a data that reflects a hospital where um, we'll be seeing how data can be uh, how data can be entered into Excel sheet and how it can be analyzed using pivot table in a very very easy style and also if you're watching this video please this applies in every other field my goal here is to allow you understand how the tool works and don't cram the specific data that we are using just understand how a pivot table works and how Excel works as well let's jump in so I show you so right here we want to teach you how to analyze data using pivot tables and this data i'm capturing data from a hospital and of course it can still help other people in other fields but i was really peculiar here um, to analyze data from hospitals and um, we have hospitals across cameroon africa i think that this video can help them especially those who are working at the reception or at the um, secretarial um, they need to also learn these skills to be helping the management to start knowing what is happening with data in that sector right here i have my data here i have one two three four five six column and each column carries a header here is name of patients here is name of test you all know that patients do um do their tests and that's something that is regular in hospitals and common where they go and do their test so i just use a b i use letters to represent the names of the test so you who is in that hospital you can be changing these letters and putting the names of the test and then the amount that they have paid in those um, tests uh, and the day that they made the test and the month that they made the test and the year that they made the test this is just a short um, data or a short caption of of my data based on this course but you can add more columns here to capture other things about the patient whether they are male or female etc etc but here today we are going to be analyzing this um, data using pivot table there is something in excel called pivot table and for pivot table to help you you need to help pivot table by making sure that you impute your data very well you do your data entry very well make sure that the columns are clean um there are no um there are no skips here you see you see my, my my table is very very clean there are no skips um there are no duplications etc etc and why you have done this correctly what you have to do is just to click in the table like this in the, anywhere in the table just click anywhere in that table and then you come up here to insert to insert insert and then you go to pivot tables and then you choose pivot table you see once you choose pivot table automatically you find a dialog box like this it asks you two questions the first one is do you, do you want to go to new sheets okay another one is existing worksheet if we choose existing worksheet this data is going to appear beside this um, table here which is going to make our data complex especially those of you who are watching this video i don't want it to be complex to you and if we choose new sheet it's going to take us to a new sheet so we are going to choose new sheet here and then you already give us the range and the name of our table is table one so we are just going to click okay wow it now brings us to a new sheet okay and this is how our new sheet look like this sign that you see here indicates that it's pivot tables um, um, interface this other one here indicates that it's pivot table interface okay and there are some few things i want to show us here if i come here to this small icon and i click and i go to move you see i can move my pivot i can move this area you see i can move this area wherever i want to move it and if i click it stands still okay if i go up here and i choose size and i click i can come now and increase it you see and when i increase it to my satisfaction i click so while we are here there are some things i want you to pay attention we are going to be looking at the amount of cost the amount of 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 paid of amount paid by clients per month okay that is our objective of analysis today so when we come here before we go there i want to show you some things here i want you to look at this box very well okay look at this box very well and pay attention to something you see here we have the report filter here we have the column labels here we have the row labels here we have the values okay values here these with numbers okay if you are looking for the price of anything bring it here if you are looking for the number of anything bring it here if you are looking for the for the more amount paid if it concerns money or anything figure you bring it here that's why you see values good then filter here simply means um you have many things and you want to choose from them you want to filter it's like you're filtering um fufu 
um, 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 grind maize to remove those parts that you want to use for fufu and then keep the others that maybe you want to use for your poultry. So that's what filters means in terms of English, okay? Just filtering and choosing. So if you put anything here, it means you want to filter. That's what you're indicating. And if you put anything under your column labels, it means you want it to appear in your column labels. So let me show you how this works. We are going to use... And we are simply going to use example of the month okay let me start with the amount paid first let me bring this amount paid under this value wow you see once i brought that amount paid under this value now it gives us forty-six thousand francs maybe it can be cfa it can be dollars anywhere any amount any um um, um 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 sign you want to put there is okay but i want us to pay attention with the numbers so here we have forty-six thousand. So it's already summing up all the amounts, 46,000 for you without you stressing, okay? Without you stressing. And then if I just call it and I drag and I removed, it goes off. Okay, we have already looked at value here. Now, if we go back to use this month and we bring this month under column here, column labels, you see, they will now appear in this column style. You see, April will appear, May will appear, June will appear. It's already giving us everything from this data okay it's already coming to this month and picking it uniquely telling us that may april and june are involved are you seeing now may april and june are involved here if we take this very month and we bring it down to our row labels yeah it has brought again april may and june but now in a row format are you seeing now it will depends on you who is doing analysis how you see it how it looks to you okay because when you are doing analysis you must ask yourself if you cannot understand it easily then other people that you want to show them will not understand it okay this is what i wanted to show you here we can still do another example you who is kind of confused we can still take the name of the test okay and we'll bring it under this column you see it will appear in the column format are you seeing now a b c d e we can still bring the same name of the test and put it here it appears in the row format okay this applies in any other kind of data that you want to analyze okay don't cram this just understand the concept if i come here now and i remove and i take the same month now i bring it on to filter now wow you see what happens here now it now shows me that i want to filter so here you have month and then you find a small open and close bracket and you find all it means i have selected all now if i want to filter i come to this small icon here and i click you see it says select multiple items and i click this one here and i click ok and i go back there again and then you see that you have april you have may and you have june if I come here now and I want to select, and I say, let me select April at the moment, and I click OK, it gives me April now, okay? And if I come here and I take amount paid, and I go under my value, you see that it gives me amount paid only for April. Are you seeing now? We are already doing the analysis, okay? And if management calls and say, hey, how much do we make in April? You are already giving it in April. If I come again here and I say, okay, I want to filter now. I want to add April and May. I'll click April and May, and I click OK automatically you see that it gives me 34,000. So it keeps increasing. If I come here again and I say, okay, I want to add June and I click here, you see automatically pivot table says 46,000. Okay, so this is how we do analysis using pivot tables. If I remove this month from here and I also remove this sum of payment from here and I take this month and I bring it here under rules, you see all the month up here and I take this amount paid now and I bring it under values. You see, it automatically gives me all the amount paid in this different month that customers paid in doing their test are you seeing now so 46 here you could already see it here now if i come again and i want to see per year all i need to do is remove this month and then i bring my year under this rule you see we had just 2023 if you had from 2020 right up to whatever year it will appear all here depending on how the data entry was done if I come again and I say, okay, I want to see the amount paid according to test, I will not take my test again. I bring it under row, you see? So every test has their amount. So test A had 6,000, test B had 6,000, test C has, are you seeing now? So it has automatically sum up that, sum, sum it all and give it to you. Let me tell you where that magic is coming from. Okay, where this magic is coming from, let me show you very well. So you see, um, I want to move this on this part so you really see it. Wow, okay. If you come down here to your value here and you click in this small icon and then it goes to value field setting and you click, you will come here. Wow, you see what is happening here now. It gives you sum, it gives you count, it gives you average, it gives you maximum, it gives you minimum. Are you seeing now? So if we are right now, we are summing here. If we say we want to look at the average, we can just come and click average and then we click OK. It now gives us the 
average, the grand total average of all these prices. Are you seeing now? Okay, if we come again and then we go get to value fee settings and then we come now and we say, okay, maybe they say they want to look at the average, um, the average, the average of what the the average of what patient made their, the average amount of money that patient made their test maybe on April. You will just come here now and remove, or in April you come here and remove. You bring your month, you bring it here. No, sorry, you take it over to filters because we want to filter just that month. We come and then we select all and then we take April. You see, and then we come here. You see now. So it has given us the average just for April. We can see come again and they say no, they want to look at the sum now. Okay, they'll come now and then you come and you take the sum. You see here now. So you have been able to get the average and the sum. Okay, so this is how you can use um, 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 pivot tables to simply analyze your data and make it look really, really smooth in your different hospitals and in your different areas of work. I hope this helps someone out there. Stay Thank you all very much for coming and watching this video and I hope I see you in the next video. Please continue to follow us, continue to like, continue to comment down below what you think we should cover in the next video. Stay blessed.